Hey scientists, do you ever wonder what happens to all that extra water after it rains? Well, today we're going to talk about storm drains. Okay, so you probably walk past storm drains all the time and you barely ever even notice them. Well, they actually really help us out a lot by keeping our roads and cities from flooding. Now, their designs will play an important role in how they function. So today we're going to take a look at storm drain designs and how they work. Now, in order to do that, we need to go find some. So let's go on a trip. Alright, let's see here. Oh, hey, Mr. Garbage Man. Oh, what's that over there? Whoa, looks like three storm drains next to each other. Huh. I wonder what these metal plates here with holes in them are for. Got some leaves kind of built up here. Oh, I never noticed this sign before. Interesting. Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, here we go. This one's just one, but it also has some metal bars going across on the street. Oh, the same circles cut out of the metal plate in the curb. And the same sign. No dumping drains to ocean. Oh, huh, if this drains to the ocean, I better pick this up. This too. Hmm, somebody's probably missing this on their tree. Oh, huh, that's a lot of leaves. Okay, scientists, so we are back from our trip and we found two storm drains. Now, let's talk about what makes a good storm drain. First of all, a storm drain needs to be able to let water pass through it easily, but keep out any trash or debris that's going to either pollute the source that it leads to or clog up the drain itself. And so you can think of this kind of like a kitchen strainer, like this one here. Now, this one actually has a similar design to the filters that were on the drains that we found. You might have noticed built into the curb were these metal plates that had circles cut out of them. And so that allows water to pass through, but it will keep out debris that we don't want going in there. Now another thing that a storm drain needs is some sort of sign that's going to indicate that it's not okay to leave trash anywhere near there. Because in this case of our storm drains, they drain directly to the ocean. And so the signs on those was very clear. It said no dumping drains to ocean with a picture of a dolphin. Okay, so a good sign like that can really help people realize that it's not good to leave trash or debris around it. Now, you saw in the case of the second storm drain we looked at that it was actually really good at keeping debris and trash out of it. There was a big pile of leaves right outside of the storm drain and it also kept out some trash, including this lid here, which I'm going to recycle and also a Christmas ornament. I was not expecting to find one of these, but it kept that out of the drain and out of our ocean. So it was really doing its job effectively. And so now my task to you is, can you find some storm drains around your house or neighborhood and see if you can maybe come up with a better design for that storm drain? Can you think of any other way to keep out debris and trash and can you maybe come up with a better sign for your storm drains that you think will be more effective? Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Good luck, scientists. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.